All right, Broncos country. We got a big rumor that's dropping, and it's courtesy of, no, not Mike Kliss, not anybody that reports in Denver, but the Purple Persuasion. I guess they got an idea of what Sean Payton's wanting to do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to break this down give you my two cents on it, and I definitely want to hear from y'all when it comes to this. So y'all be sure to smash that like. Again, comment and subscribe. We're on our way to 500. 500 by the NFL Draft. That's a goal. But let me go ahead and open this up and let me get to talking about this. According to PA on the mic, Paul Allen, the Vikings play-by-play guy, says the Broncos are so desperate to move up for a quarterback, specifically J.J. McCarthy, that they could possibly include star cornerback Patrick Sertan the second in the trade. The Broncos could definitely be a threat to the Vikings. They're so desperate out Denver way. Out Denver's way, you probably meant to say that. I'm not kidding you, man. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like, we want that three so badly. We will give you pick number 12. We will give you next year's first rounder, and we will give you Patrick Sertan. I'm not kidding you. They are that desperate. Uh, weird? Okay. I, I guess, I. and this is kind of funny because it's a little bit of a follow-up to my video that I did the other day about how the only thing that would piss me off with this draft is if we trade away future high-end draft picks again for like the fourth or fifth quarterback off the board. Now, in this case, you would be trading to number three with New England. So most likely this would be for Drake May. And I got to say, hey, if if we end up doing this with whatever it takes, I'm going to be excited for whoever we draft as a quarterback this year. But if you're giving up a future first, that's likely going to be a top 15 pick next year at minimum, plus Patrick Sertan. And this year's first uh, for J.J. McCarthy. Uh, J.J. McCarthy better be Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he better be a damn good quarterback. Drake May better be damn good. I got some concerns about them in this game or in in coming up to play the NFL game. But, man, if we're going to trade Patrick Sertan and we're going to give up some future assets, you might as well just find out what that price of – can't refuse is for the Chicago Bears and just go up and get Caleb Williams, right? <laughs> I mean, I would prefer it if if we're gonna give away, you know. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to think about it, you know. If if you're gonna give up half of your life savings, you might as well just give up all of it to go get that guy that you know is is much better than those guys, in my opinion, right? Uh, again, I got some concerns about Caleb Williams too. You know, I wonder if he's a little bit too sensitive to make it in a market like Chicago or Denver, the pressure that it takes uh, to play here. But there is no denying uh, the type of quarterback he is on the field. Again, Heisman winner. And he was amazing. USC, even though they had a disappointing year, what they finished seven and five, they should not have won seven games this year. And that man elevated the entire team. So that's what I would be okay with. I mean, if we're going to trade Sertan, if we're going to give up some future first, man, I'm hoping that it nets us Caleb Williams. But I'm a little I'm a little nervous about it just netting us Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. When the, I mean, there's a reason why those guys aren't talked about as being the number one overall pick, right? <laughs> or the number two. Really the number two. Although I feel like Drake May... He still could be in that number two conversation with Washington. I don't really know what's going on. Hopefully, this is just a smokescreen. Hopefully, this guy is just kind of talking out of his ass for a little bit. But I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out what's the incentive of a Vikings media member releasing this info. I don't know. But I would imagine that there are teams that... Uh, you know, whether it's the Patriots or the Cardinals, they would probably like the package the Vikings would offer anyways because they have two firsts this year. And maybe they can save the Broncos from themselves, right? Um, again, I am just here talking in my apartment. I am not able to meet with these guys. I can't put them on the board or anything like that, nor am I qualified to do that to the level of anybody like Sean Payton, okay? Again, Patrick Mahomes went after Mitchell Trubisky. 
So maybe this is one of those cases. Uh, Cecil Amy told me that, you know, he likes Drake May's aggressiveness, his boldness, and that kind of shows some shades of Patrick Mahomes a little bit out of that part of his game. And then he really likes J.J. McCarthy's cerebral ability. But I don't know, man. Neither of these guys threw the ball as much as Patrick Mahomes did at Texas Tech, and there's a lot less info to go off of. I know that it probably keeps Sean Payton up many nights, the fact that he got sniped by the Chiefs for Patrick Mahomes years ago in that draft by one pick. But Sean Payton, do not force this thing if there is no Patrick Mahomes in this draft. Please. Please. Again, let's keep our assets in case none of these guys hit so that we could just draft a quarterback every year until we hit one, right? So I. I guess, hey, if if Patrick Sertan gets us up to three alone, I do it. I think a cornerback that's going to be the highest paid in the NFL is a little bit of a luxury at this standpoint with, with where we are in the development of our team. But ultimately, I'd like to see Patrick Sertan on this team. Uh, yeah, but y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I too crazy? Should we just say, screw it? You don't care about the price. You go and get your guy. Is that guy... The likes of Patrick Mahomes, I, you know, or Justin Herbert, probably not. I don't know. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe as well. And as always, y'all, go Broncos.